Welcome to Oryx Learning. Today's lesson is on Unit 4, Systems of Equations, Lesson 4, Solve by Elimination. There are three methods to solve systems of equations. The first one being graphing. Graphing is a visual model of the solution. Graphing is sometimes hard to get an exact solution and often will come up with an estimation. The substitution method you use when at least one equation is solved for a variable. For example, if y equals ax plus c, or x equals by plus c. Third, we have the elimination method. Use the elimination method when there are equations that are in standard form. ax plus by equals c. The first step in solving a system using the elimination method is so the elimination method eliminates one of the variables by adding the equations together. For example, if we have the system 3x plus 7y equals 10 and x minus 7y equals 14, if we add these equations together, we can see that 7y minus 7y is 0 essentially eliminating one of the variables. Now we're left with 4x plus 0 equals 24, or just 4x equals 24. Step 2 in elimination. After eliminating one variable, solve for the variable that is left in the equation. So we want to add the equations together and then solve for the remaining variable. In this example, we have 5x plus 6y equals 6, and negative 5x plus 3y equals 12. Adding the equations together, we can see that 5x plus negative 5x is 0, eliminating the x variable, and we're left with 9y equals 18. If we divide both sides by 9 to isolate the y, we get y equals 2. For our third step, to solve by elimination, is after solving for one variable, we can substitute that value into one of the equations and find the value of the second variable. The values of the two variables is the solution to the system of equations, which we'll write as a coordinate point x comma y. So in this example, we have 3x plus 2y equals 4, and 3x minus 2y equals negative 4. If we add the equations together, we can see that 2y minus 2y is 0, eliminating the y variable, so we're left with 6x equals 0. To solve for the variable x that's remaining, we can divide both sides of the equation by 6. If we solve for x, we'll get x equals 0 divided by 6, or 0. Next, we can substitute the value into one equation and solve for the second variable. In this case, 3 times 0 plus 2y will equal 4. Simplifying, I get 2y equals 4, and solving for the variable y, I will divide both sides of the equation by 2 to get y equals 2. So if our x is 0 and our y is 2, the solution to the system is represented by the coordinate point 0, comma, 2. Let's look at a more complex problem. Sometimes adding the equations together does not eliminate a variable. This requires another step before adding the equations. We can multiply by a constant to make a coefficient in each equation that has to be opposite values. In this case, we can choose to multiply by either 4 or by negative 3. If I multiply the second equation by 4. I will have the first equation remain the same, negative 4x minus 15y equals negative 17. Distributing the 4 in the second equation, I will get 4x minus 20y equals 52. So now we can see that we have a variable, an x, that has opposite coefficients, one as 4 and one as negative 4. 
So now I can solve the new system by following the three steps. Add the equations together, solve for the variable, and substitute to find the value of the second variable. So adding the equations together, I can see that negative 4 plus 4 is 0, eliminating the x, leaving me with negative 35y equals 35. If I divide both sides of the equation by negative 35, I get y equals negative 1. Now that I have one of the variables solved for, I can substitute the value into one equation and solve for the second variable. In this case, I'll get negative 4x minus 15 times negative 1 equals negative 17. Simplifying, I get negative 4x plus 15 equals negative 17. And now to solve for x, I will subtract 15 from both sides. Negative 4x is now equal to negative 32. And to isolate the variable, I'll divide both sides of the equation by negative 4 leaving me with x equals 8. So if x equals 8 and y equals negative 1, the solution to the system is represented by the coordinate point 8, negative 1. So remember, if we want to solve a system of equations by elimination, we first must multiply to make opposite coefficients if necessary, add the two equations together, solve for a variable, and then substitute and solve for the other variable. Remember, your solution will always be an ordered or a coordinate point. Thank you for watching this lesson.